Okay, number 12. A lot of words, word problems. We call them, and, uh, but don't get too, uh, let's see. Uh, one of my methods I use, I'll show you this. I come to the end, I, I look for the question mark. Let's see, let me come back here. There we go. I look for the question mark, because that's where the question is. How many groups of 13 appetizers are possible? Groups of 13 appetizers. I don't know the question yet, so let me see. There are 15 appetizers available at a restaurant. From these, Eric is to choose 13 of these. So there's 15 available. He can choose 13 of them. And again, it's sort of implied without replacement. He chooses them, puts it back. Now, is, is order important? Well, he chooses an appetizer. He has it. Uh, we're not serving him in a particular order. So we're going to have to make sort of the assumption in this case order is not important so this is a combination there's 15 items to choose from we're going to choose 13 of them notice there's our friend over here the calculator where we can just click on it and we can do this calculation um, so let's go ahead and do that and then i'll you know if you want to do it the other way we could do that with the formula but this calculator I come over here. Uh, 15 choose 13. There's our little chooser guy. So we just click on it. And um, 15 choose 13. It's 105. So we'll go ahead and put that in as our answer. Close this down. And then let's go to the next question. There are 15 European cities that Eric would eventually like to visit on his next vacation, although he has only time to visit three of the cities. That's the thing. One on Monday, one on Tuesday, and one on Wednesday. It's uh, a lot of quick traveling, but they have great train system in Europe, so I, I guess you can get to the cities quickly. He's now trying to make a schedule of which cities which city he'll visit on which day, how many different schedules are possible. Now remember, you can only do one city, and, and so there is an order that's important because there's a first visit, a second, and a third um, particular days. And your experience, depending upon which city you see on which day, is going to be different. Um, they don't tell us which cities. I, I would go with like Paris, Brussels, um, some other European cities. London, well, I don't know if you call that London uh, European anymore because they're, they're Brexiting from European Union, but uh, we used to think of London, of England as European. But we'll get out quickly out of the political for here. And 15 choosing three, what's the math behind that? Because that's a lot easier question to answer than. Uh, whether England is in Europe or not. So we've got 15 cities we'd like to see. We've got to do them in a certain order. So that's going to be 15 permutate three. Again, we can pull up the calculator. Maybe we'll just leave it like this. Uh, you could use the formulas if you like. Um, you feel like you're not going to have a calculator, but this one, it's right here. Oops. Better clear that's not 105 things. Permutate. We're going to go 15 cities. And we get to see three of them, but the order is important in this case. And I would click on the equals 2,730 different itineraries based on those 15. That's a lot of different choices. Um, so let's put that in there. 2,730. I think you can put a comma if you want, but uh, it's probably okay if you don't. So we we'll just keep uh, moving forward here. So that's question number 12. Order's important on the second one. Order's not important on the first one. And we just do permutations or combinations. Thanks.